You've probably seen one of these emergency radios. Hand crank, solar power, built-in flashlight. Sounds great, right? But the other night my power went out and I grabbed it. Luckily it was charged, but it got me thinking. How long would it take to crank the radio to power it up? I didn't want to sit there for hours doing this. So I built this. What I've done is I connected a stepper motor to the crank of the radio. This allows me to use an ESP and a stepper motor controller. And I can connect to it with Wi-Fi using an app I wrote to control the motor. This allows me to start and stop the motor, set the speed, keep track of how many revolutions and how long it's been running. So let's start it. Fifteen minutes in. Let's stop it and try to turn it on. Nothing. Still dead. At this point I'm wondering, is this even working? Starting to doubt everything. Surely after an hour of cranking. Nothing. I just don't know if this is going to work. Finally it turned on, and all it took was an hour and a half of cranking. So why did it take so long for this to work? My theory is, is that there's a little mini BMS, a battery management system. This means that you're going to have to crank it and build that voltage up and it's keeping the radio from turning on until it hits that minimum voltage. That's a lot of cranking. So is this emergency radio still worth it? Absolutely, but only if you keep it charged. If you rely on crank power to keep it charged up, you're in for an hour and a half of spinning only to hear some static. I definitely still recommend this for everybody. So I put a link in the description below where you can get yours. And if you put coupon code broken signal, you can save $15. So what crazy experiment would you like to see me do next? Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and thanks for watching. That was good. That was better. Um, dun -dun -dun.